Let's geek out about self-driving cars. After all, they seem to be everywhere at Las Vegas' tech show CES this week after an explosion of startups entered the race for the big prize in recent years. That is, to come up with the best technology to help the car see what's up ahead. And as the stakes are high, many engineers are peeling away from big tech companies to go it alone, adding to an already crowded field. Here at CES, it's hard to judge which technology is the front runner just from a demo. And of course, everyone is claiming they've got the best. What we have came up with is a completely new technology that allows to combine the advantages of a LiDAR, a radar, and a camera all into one single integrated box. LiDAR, that's those big spinning things you may have seen on a self-driving car. It bounces light off objects to create a picture of the surrounding environment. Aiva developed its own chip and tucked its tech into this box, which it hopes to sell for a couple hundred dollars. And this is what it sees. The top right window shows you the velocity of objects uh, down to centimeters per second precision. And what you see here is everything that's white is actually stationary. Um, everything that's red is moving away from you. Everything that's blue is coming towards you. These founders claim other technology can't show the speed and direction like their product can. Another startup AI with prestigious Silicon Valley venture capital firm Kleiner Perkins, Airbus and Intel as investors took us for a spin down the Vegas Strip at night to show how its boxes of gear can not only detect objects one kilometer away, but can also see up close and focus on what's important, like the human eye. But it's aware competition is fierce. Yeah, there's a lot of noise in this space. We track about 70 different LiDAR uh, competitors. Having said that, this is going to be a space that consolidates greatly as architectures are eliminated and the scalability of them are proven. AI is confident it'll survive a shakeout that's coming in the next few years, but expects to see a lot of wreckage along the way to a self-driving future.